we look at shareholder value in terms of it being like an equation, we see four elements to shareholder value and they are the recent performance of the business, the market sentiment, red line issues and also uh, the multiplier effect. The recent performance of the business is central to what the value of the business is going to be. So what EBITDA is it creating, what free cash flow is it creating and um, how can you demonstrate the quality of your customer's experience and the quality of what you're going to generate, what's that pipeline and how secure and resilient is it going to be going into the future. Market sentiment is the demand for your business in your sector at any particular point in time. So things that can influence the market sentiment are the performance of other businesses in your sector, particularly public companies and your competitors and how they're performing and recent transactions in that area. The digital transformation, what impact is that going to have on your sector? And just generally how attractive is it to potential purchasers and how that's going to generate profitability going into the future. Red line issues are issues that you are really going to put off a purchaser and that you really need to avoid. So things that are typically like red line issues are that there's an over dependence on the owner manager. The owner manager might be just central to all relationships and there's no succession plan there. So that will really put off a purchaser as to how they're going to drive the profitability post transaction. Other over dependence can be on short term funding. If the funding strategy is wrong, that might be a red line issue. So serious liquidity problems are a red line issue for purchasers. And then the fourth issue is the multiplier effect. So the multiplier effect is the number of times a purchaser is going to pay for the profitability of your business, how many times that's going to be multiplied. And there's four big drivers of the multiplier. Um, first of all, what market are you in and how is that market going to perform going into the future? What is the demand and how are you positioned relative to everybody else in your market sector? The second thing is the capability of the management team. The management team, that is, is there, are they going to have the competence to drive forward the business with the plan that's going to be put in place? And are there any gaps in skills there in the, in the senior management team? The third thing is business operations. How efficient are they? And how effective are they going to be to drive the profitability of the business forward? How resilient are they to what's outside influences of the market? And then the fourth thing is the business plan, the profile of the risk of the business and how that risk is managed. So they all combine together to drive um, the multiplier effect. We use the Optimize program at Mazaris to identify the gaps on the drivers of performance and enterprise value and we have a dedicated team that help our clients in identifying those gaps and how they should be best addressed through their business plan.